folks, JD here, and today we're looking at this. This is the SEMA X5UC, otherwise known as the new drone. Alright, so let's open it up and have a little look inside. So... Okay, there's one. Beautiful, look at that. So... Oh! What's this? That looks like a little Meccano quadcopter. Perfect. Um, there we are. I'll put that to one side then. Didn't expect that. Lovely. So here we go. This is the quadcopter. So a lot of you will recognise this shape. This shape is the same style quadcopter as the X5UW. Nice looking quadcopter, very stylish. I do prefer this particular type of uh, style to the SEMA quadcopters. I think in my mind it really did re, uh, rejuvenate the, the, the SEMA line. So let's put this to one side, let's take everything out and then let's have a proper little look at this quadcopter. So we've got the quadcopter, we've got the accessory bag with the spare blades, we have got transmitter, another accessory bag, one battery, two batteries, and camera. Okay, right then, so let's have a, have a little look at the quadcopter. So, look at this, this is beautiful, really nice styling, circular styling like we've seen before in the X5UW, uh, really nice, really well put together, sturdy, plastic takes quite a bit in order to, uh, to dent it a little bit, uh, so that is good, a nice sturdy drone, that's exactly what you want. We've got the motor covers here. These are fantastic, really good. I do like to have these covered. It just means that if you have no option but to land on a gravelly surface, or if you do land within short grass, that nothing will then get stuck inside the motor and damage the motors, more importantly. So this is really nice, really good. On and off button at the top. Single push to turn it on and single push then to turn it off. You will notice the quadcopter, the blades, the propellers have got these little red tints to the top as well. Because it's a white and red quadcopter, this really does stand out really quite well. All in all, really nice style. So this is where the camera would fit, same as we saw with the other drone. So what we'll do is we'll find the camera, single body camera, SD card in the back of the camera already, 4 gigabyte SD card, that's perfect. So we'll put this back inside the camera just that I don't forget it when I eventually take this quadcopter out for a flight. There is a fixed lens, the lens does not move uh, unfortunately so you cannot, it, it isn't angle poise, you can't move it. Um, but to be honest with you that's not so much of a bad thing because as you are flying the quadcopter does move forward a bit as well so that will again angle the particular camera for you as well. So let's have a little look, let's plug this in. So you've got this little plug here which fits into this socket right there. So there is only one way it goes in. Look for the little nodules on the outside of the plug and then all you've got to do is push it in until it clicks. So it does mean you have got to be quite careful and make sure this does go in until it clicks so that it just sits in properly. As you'll notice when you go to put the camera in, you'll put the camera in one, one direction and then you'll feel there's a bit of resistance there. Push against that resistance and as you'll see the camera clicks into place. See? And that means then the camera is nice and secure and it's locked in place. This camera won't move now. This camera will stay exactly like that all through the flight. Really, really good. There we go. So all nicely attached, no problem. SD card still in the back as well. So that's the camera attached. Now, these batteries, if you're new to this particular SEMA uh, quadcopter and if you haven't um, seen or flown the U, the 5X, the, sorry, the X5UW, you won't be familiar with these particular batteries. Now these batteries are, are the, they're a little bit different to the standard SEMA ones, as they are encased in this plastic housing. Now you've got your two pins this side, which fit into the two red pins there. You'd face the pins together, and then push until it clicks. That's it. Now the battery is connected. Let's if I turn this light off, let's see if we've got any power in the battery. No power whatsoever in there. 
Okay, that's not a problem. To release the battery, there's a little little button here. It's a little bit fiddly. Push the button down and then pull the battery out. That's it, as easy as that. Per battery, you're looking at uh, roughly one hour and 20 minutes to charge. Um, so in full, for two batteries, you're looking at approximately two hours and 40 minutes to charge them both if you do them independently. So, to look at the features of this particular quadcopter, with this quadcopter you get altitude hold from the built-in barometer, headless mode, no FPV unfortunately, that is the main difference between this one and the X5UW. This particular quadcopter can record video, can take photos, but there's no FPV. There's also headless mode, HD camera and it does 360 stunts and flips as well. So all in all, quite a feature rich quadcopter. Now that we've looked at the quadcopter and we've looked at the batteries, let's put these to one side. Right, so let's pop this back in here. Perfect, let's put these two to one side. Right, this accessory bag. So let's open her up. Inside here we have the following. Four. Oh, let me get them out, there we go. We've got four propeller guards with screws inside them as well that if you wanted them to fit on all you would do is push them in like that there's nothing for you to screw in all you would do is just push the propeller guards in as easy as that so we've got the propeller guards we've also got a screwdriver we have got a card reader for the SD card which is in the back of the camera and of course we've got the charger only one charger for the two batteries so that's the USB charger as well so that is accessory bag one accessory bag two we have just got four spare propellers SEMA have been really good in always giving enough propellers and giving some spares get four extra ones the only thing you don't get with these spare propellers are the red propeller caps on the top so be careful to look after those just so that when you replace the propeller you can put the caps and click them back into the replacement propellers as well perfect now on to the transmitter so this transmitter, I really like it. I liked it in the X5 U, uh, UW and I like it in this particular one as well. So, as you will notice, it's quite large, but your thumbs seem to fit really nicely on the analog sticks, giving you full motion, 360 degrees, really, really nice. One on and off button in the middle, just one click to turn on, one click to turn off. You've got a couple of shoulder buttons. So this particular shoulder button is for taking video and photo. Now this button is my favorite one. This is, if you can have a favorite button, this particular one is for automatic takeoff. You push this button and the propellers start and the quadcopter raises up to one meter height. So then you can just take over and you can carry on controlling it. That's just a nice little, little gimmick, but it's quite nice as well. So there we have it, that is the transmitter, really nice, game controller-esque, fits really nicely in your, in your hand. If you turn it over, that is how you put the batteries in. So you would take the screwdriver, excuse the hands for a second folks, unscrew the screw in the back there of the battery bay door, take the screw out. Then you would need four AA batteries in this particular transmitter in order for it to operate. This transmitter does not allow USB charging so the batteries that, you, that have to go in here have to be fully charged before going in. Battery life in this transmitter will definitely last for the two batteries here. So there we have it. A box full full of, uh, full of stuff from the quadcopter to one battery and a spare. You've got your USB charger your SD card reader, you've got your screwdriver, you've got your propeller guards, spare propellers, transmitter, camera and SD card as well, really is a fantastic kit. There we have it. So thanks ever so much for watching and listening folks. Please join me in the next couple of days when we're going to be taking this guy out and putting him through his paces. Hello to all the new subscribers. Thanks ever so much for subscribing and supporting me. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time my friends. Happy flying!